What in the world is going on with the Yu-Gi-Oh! 25th anniversary? What's up guys, we're back with another epic video, at least I think it is. I guess we'll have to find out what you guys think about the 25th anniversary announcements, but there has been a lot of 25th anniversary coverage. I haven't covered any of it on the channel, talked about it a little bit on Twitch, but that's about it. So let's just go through everything, the timeline of the 25th anniversary, which is this current year. There's been a ton of 25th anniversary stuff that I was not expecting to happen. So originally I thought the 25th anniversary for Yu-Gi-Oh would just be the Legendary Collection release, which we kind of heard about a while back. I think it was about six months ago. I can't keep track exactly when that release was, but it turns out there's a lot more than that. It feels like almost every set has had something to do with the 25th anniversary. So if we look here, Maze of Memories had the 25th anniversary logo. That was the only thing it had to do with. So I was like, okay, maybe they're going to put the 25th anniversary logo on everything this year. That's no big deal. You know, whatever. I mean, it doesn't really change anything. It's just part of the artwork and the pack. That, that wasn't true. They're doing a lot more than that. So then we go to the 25th anniversary, which we have talked about a couple of times. So obviously this contains the 25th anniversary rarity, aka the quarter century secret rare version, which... There's only six of these, and they appear to be promos because these are the six cards. And if these look familiar, we've talked about this before, but these are the six cards that you get in a promo pack of a Legendary Collection 1. So it feels like you're going to get one of these with your normal promos in your Legendary Collections, which, I mean, to me, it's like, that's kind of cool, but it's also a little bit boring. The six that we've been waiting for, you know, oh, what are the big quarter century rarities? Oh, it's the exact same promos as before, except they're in fake Starlight Rare, which may or may not be a good thing if it's fake starlight rare we need to talk about if you guys even like that or not do you like quarter century rarity do you think it's cool that it's a starlight with a stamp on it i don't know that's a question we have to answer in this video as well that was what i thought everything was going to be for the 25th anniversary but since then we've had tons of different little leaks and announcements and just stuff on the website for konami that really changed my opinion of oh, like oh wow they're actually going to be doing more than this so the next release that we see Quarter Centuries in is Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge, but they have moved back to a June release date. Like recently we've been doing it towards the end of the year for the Battles of Legend slash Brothers of Legend stuff, but it seems like this is going to be coming out in June. And if you look, take a look at the text here, first of all, there's a lot of cool cards coming out, Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight of Magic or whatever it's called, Dark Arm, Neos, Assault, Synchron, you know, a bunch of cool stuff in there. But if you get down to the bottom where it breaks down all the rarities, 40 secret rares, 62 ultra rares, more than 20 cards in the set also available as quarter century secret rares. So this is pretty wild because that means 20 cards are going to be quarter century secret rares. So first we have quarter century secret rares as promos. They look like starlights, but you get them in every box. So it's like a much different rarity. You know, one is like one in 25 boxes. One is one in every box, you know, a big, big difference there. So that's interesting. Then now you have them in the set, it appears. So you can open the packs and now pull them. So there are promos in one like product. And then now they are like pullable in another product, but there's 20 of them. So are they going to be like one in every box? Are they going to be like one in every, if they're one in every case, it's going to be impossible to pull all of them. I mean, that's going to be an insane amount of different like Starlight rares. I also noticed they don't mention Starlights here, but I checked on Darkwing Blast, another Starlight set. They don't actually mention Starlights either. So just because they don't say Starlights here doesn't mean there's also not Starlights, but I would be surprised if they had quarter century secrets which looked like Starlights and then actual Starlights, which also look like Starlights. So I find this really interesting. I'm actually kind of excited about this. I think being able to pull them is really cool. I wish they were all pullable and not promos. I think being promos, especially of cards that we already have, like a bunch of card, like versions of them. Like, do we really need any more of these versions of the cards? Like, this is the artwork people don't like. Artwork people don't like, even though I think it's cool. I mean, I think all these are cool, but they're like the least favorite artwork of all these monsters. I mean, the god cards. I mean, we have the, the Secret Pharaohs Rare, all that stuff. They could use Starlights. I mean, that would be cool, but... I guess these are like the best options for the quarter century, but they're still like every pack. They're not going to be worth a lot. It kind of reminds me of when they put ultimate rares in the tin, the Z tins for a little bit. And those cards are worth like 20 cents for an ultimate rare. They're like the cheapest ultimate rares on the planet. The big difference between this and that is obviously the God cards and blue eyes are like big cards and like the Z10 ultimate rares were not really, they were Gaga Ga stuff. So, which is like kind of, you know, niche, like if you like Gaga Ga or not. So that is a big difference. And also Starlight Rare is a little bit different than ultimate rare. I think it can fit any card but uh, ultimate rare it just kind of depends on the artwork in my opinion but a lot of people think it could fit anything but that's just what I think about it so very interesting like what's happening here so that's not it by the way there's still more stuff then we go on to the duelist nexus which comes out in July so the July duelist nexus set first of all they all have 25th on there this one doesn't mention starlights which this was a point before I realized that none of them mentioned starlights this doesn't mean that there's no Starlights. Does it say that there's Quarter Century? Yeah, 25 cards will be available as Quarter Century Secret Rares, which is interesting because they put it up here instead of down here like on the other one, but 
25 cards, so to represent 25. So maybe that means there's 25 in the last set. Last time they said over 20. This one they say exactly 25 to represent 25 years. At this point, I feel like almost every card's gonna have a starlight rarity. When you're doing 25 cards per set, it's gonna be insane. Which this is kind of cool if you're like blinging out a deck and you want like the highest rarity, you got a bunch of really shiny cards. This would be really cool for that. But also, then you're looking at how much it dilutes the Starlight market. Because right now, there's not a lot of Starlights out there. There's like four or five per core set for the last like four years. But now we're going to have 25 per set. It's going to be insane. And not even core sets. Like, the Battles of Legend, Monsters Revenge, or whatever it's called, is not a core set. And that has 20 plus of them in there. So I don't really know what to think about this. I'm assuming if you have 25 of the Quarter Century Secret Rare, there's not going to be a regular Starlight in here. I mean, that would just be too much. So it looks like this set is going to be a 25th anniversary special with only 25th anniversary Quarter Century Secret Rares or whatever they're called. That is a mouthful to say, but that's another thing. And then we finally have the most recent leaks. So we have a post by Yu-Gi-Oh! Organization that the 25th anniversary 10 so the big 10s every year the ones that everybody wants to see have come out they're called the dueling heroes so we kind of completed the set of 2020 through 2022 we had the matching 10 artworks they finished that so now they've moved on it looks like to a different one we don't have a picture or an image or anything of what these are going to look like yet but we do have a lot of info about these probably the most we've had about anything so originally they had this picture that was making people really confused they thought they were getting some crazy old stuff but no that was just uh, nothing so celebrating the 25th anniversary with a double prismatic secret rare so this year we have not only one prismatic secret rare which by the way a prismatic secret rare is the normal mega 10 secret rare so that is like the like i would call it parallel secret or whatever where the secret goes up and down kind of like a tic-tac-toe board that's the normal thing we get but we get one per 10 this year we're getting two per 10 this caused some confusion since they said since tens are the only place to find this exclusive and beautiful rarity that made people like, what? What does that mean? Yeah, that's just the normal thing that we get every year, but they're getting twice as many per ten. So you're getting two of those. I skipped over the important part. They're featuring the double and then also a bonus, bonus, listen to that word, quarter century secret rare. So it's another promo. I think this is extremely awesome and also extremely questionable at the same time. First of all, it's very awesome because this seems like it's going to be a promo. The 2019 promos were like the biggest thing ever. Like they were awesome. Everybody loved the promos from the 10s. They're bringing them back, it seems. That's what bonus quarter century secret rare means. I assume that's what a promo is. It's a bonus. But also we're back to these are like, it's so, it's so the rarity. It's confusing. Like, is this a rare rarity or is it not? So in the 25th anniversary and in this 10, we're getting them for free every single time we buy one. And then in our side sets and core sets, we have to pull them. And there's like 20 different versions, so it's impossible to get the one you want. So this rarity is the weirdest rarity ever. It's like if you had a common where you, in one pack you get it every time, and then in another pack you couldn't pull the common except if you open a case or something. So it's like, yeah, or a ghost rare. Like a ghost rare you get every pack, like Gold Series Haunted Mine. I guess that, well, I guess that kind of works out like that. But the difference with Gold Series Haunted Mine is they only did one set of that, and when they first came out, they were dirt cheap. People didn't care about them. They're like, ah, you get them every time. Who cares? And there was only like six or seven different ones, and this was like, you know, a million different ones. So I don't know how this is going to play out. It's really weird. Like you're getting a promo in some of them and some it's like pullable. And then I'm sure we're going to get some reprints of like starlights. So we know Zeus is going to get a starlight. So that's like a reprint of the starlight with like a stamp on it. I mean, it's basically the same thing, but it's not. So it looks exactly the same, but it costs way less. So I'm sure there's going to be an overlap of some of the current starlights. Like I mean, Opelosa, IP Mask, Arena, are they going to get reprints? And then we're going to have to differentiate every time if it's the 25th or not. I don't know. I don't... How do you guys feel about this? Because I feel like a lot of people are upset about it, like, really diluting the Starlight Rarity. And some people are like, who cares, dude? Shiny Cardboard. So, I need to know your opinion in the comments. I'm so confused. There's so many different things coming out for the 25th anniversary. It feels like every week there's a new release of some sort of leak about 25th anniversary rarities or a new set containing them. Or they have 45 different secret rares in them or they're giving out promos again. I don't know what to do. This is the craziest news all year. We've got the 25th anniversary coming out in a couple weeks, by the way, which is going to be insane. Wow. I don't know what to do. Uh, I had to make a video because there's been so many different things come out and we haven't talked about it. Let me know in the comments how you feel about it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. I'll see you guys in the next one.